guys, so today I'm going to be filming a little update kind of video, I just want to talk about some of the things that I've been working on recently, um, some projects that I'm releasing soon, and yeah, just what's going on with my life currently, um, hopefully this is of some interest to some of you. Um, I'm also going to be talking about some plans that I have for my YouTube channel and other areas that I've been working on, so I hope that you are um, going to enjoy this video and please keep watching. So the first thing that I want to talk about is um, my study abroad videos and kind of where I am with that and what I'm doing now and that whole kind of thing. Um, I filmed two videos on study abroad so far, hopefully one or both of them should have been up before this video, so hopefully you have enjoyed those and if you haven't watched them already then I will link them down below. Um, they're more a question and answer type video about study abroad and cover a lot of the basic topics that people ask me and the things that I wish I'd known when I'd gone. I'm also planning on doing some other videos, I've got loads of travel videos coming up still from my America trip and when I lived there and I am hopefully going to write a bit more about it on my blog and things like that. Um, but in terms of my kind of YouTube goals at the moment, I'm trying to make a lot of videos so that when I go back to uni and I don't have enough time then I can kind of have them periodically uploaded um, and I'm more prepared in that sense. However, the internet in my house that I'm living in um, in the moment, I'm living in Bath at the moment, up at uni, ready for uni to start as I'm working here um, quite a lot of the days a week, so that's just where I am right now. The Wi-Fi in this house is terrible and it's been a real struggle trying to upload videos, but hopefully I can get that sorted soon. And um, yeah, there'll be more videos on the way. I have got a lot that I've edited and filmed. I'm just trying to get them all out and schedule what I'm doing. But if you have any video requests that you want from me in the future, please let me know down below. As I am now going into third year, I do want to make some more uni videos. Um, I'm planning on making kind of like what you shouldn't bring to uni style video. As you, if you've seen my videos from before I started uni a few years ago, I did kind of a haul of what I um, was planning on bringing. So I definitely want to revisit that and um, kind of talk about some of the things you don't need or some of the things that you do need that I didn't think to include. Obviously, I'm going to also do a third year uni room tour as I do every year. I am in the same year. I am in the same room that I was in second year now, but um, as you can probably see already, I've already done, made some changes to it. I have got this new house plan, which I am very excited about. But yeah, um, lots more videos coming um, your way really soon, so please be patient and thanks so much to all of you that have given me ideas or um, given me feedback on my videos so far. I really appreciate it. So the next thing that I want to talk about is my blog. As many of you probably know, I have a blog which is called Positively Pancakes at blogspot.co.uk and I've had this blog for I think about three years now. Uh, I really enjoy writing posts for it. I actually haven't written things for it in a long time but I have so many ideas and I feel like I'm finally ready to kind of create everything that I've wanted to and I've got all the photos and everything I want and I'm just compiling the posts um, but yeah I actually have decided to scrap my old blog and create a new website which will just be positivelypancakes.co.uk and it is now available for you to see so I'll link it down below I've been working really hard on this over the past few months so I really hope that you enjoy it and yeah, I've got kind of three sections at the moment. I'm focusing on food, travel and lifestyle. So food will obviously be all my recipes and my favourite vegan food that I've made that I'd like to share with you guys. Travel, I have a lot of kind of eating vegan in and then a different city or a different place in the world, which I really love creating. I really love visiting places and trying out all the different foods there and recommending to you guys where you should eat. And yeah, that's something that I really like doing. So I really hope you guys are enjoying those posts and get prepared for a lot more because I have so many lined up from my America trip that are not yet uploaded. So yeah, um, I'm really excited about that. I'm also gonna be doing some more travel posts on places to visit in different cities rather than just the food you can eat as I think that will be quite interesting for me to do. Um, as I said, I really like traveling around and visiting places and I want to bring those recommendation recommendations to you guys. So be excited for that. Also in the lifestyle section, there'll be kind of um, vegan and cruelty-free makeup 
and skincare, beauty, also talking about zero waste and just a lot of other things that um, don't fit into the food and travel category that I really want to share with you guys. So yeah, go check out my new website. I'll have it linked down below, but I have been working on this for a while and it was nice to move away from a kind of controlled blog domain and have my own website. So yeah, I'm really excited about that and I hope you guys are too. So leading on from that project that I've been working on, I am also working on another project at the moment which I am really excited about and I'm not quite sure how it's going to let how long it's going to let me how long it's going to take me to complete yet as I am going back into third year in like a month and obviously I have my dissertation and everything to worry about but I am really excited about this and I can't wait to share it with you guys when it's complete. So I'm writing an ebook, which is the first kind of thing, anything like this that I've ever done. Um, I really wanna share recipes, I wanna share sample meal plans and shopping lists and just loads of tips to help you either join the vegan lifestyle, stay motivated on the vegan lifestyle, make it easier for yourself if you're at school, you're studying at uni or you're working, there's gonna be loads of sections, loads of tips loads of recipes that fit to different meals and different times of the year and different activities that you're doing. I'm gonna have a whole post about Christmas and like how to create the best vegan Christmas, even with your non-vegan family friends. Um, yeah, I haven't completely planned everything out yet, but I am really excited about it and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Once it's complete, um, I will obviously update you all throughout the progress, uh, out the process. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gonna be kind of an extension of my website, something that I have created and that I can share with you guys and really just, yeah, it's kind of what I wanna do in the future. So it's gonna be really exciting when I've created it. So I hope you're really, really excited about that as well. You will also see, um, if you go on my new website, there'll be a little section that says ebook. There'll be more information about that. And when the time comes to it, release dates and things like that, as soon as I know them, as soon as I've got to that stage in the progress. So in, <laughs> as soon as I've got to that stage in the process. So yeah, keep your, uh, keep a lookout on that. And I'm really excited to share it with you. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about today is just some of my favorite, um, things that I've been doing uh, recently and yeah just some um, things that I really wanted to share with you guys as I think they are really good habits and activities and things that will help you kind of get back in the vibe for starting uni going to school or just you know helping you with your spiritual journey or whatever you may be interested in so the first things I want to recommend are two podcasts that I have been loving recently. I've been driving a lot between my parents' home and my home in Bath where I go to uni, which is quite a long drive. Also, me and my friend went up to a vegan camp out a few weeks ago, which was incredible. And we saw some amazing talks and some ate some amazing food, which you all have seen if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram. And yeah, that was a great time. Getting to hang out with so many like-minded people is always a bonus. And uh, yeah, it gets better every single year. So definitely recommend checking that out if you've never heard of it before. But on these long drives, I've been loving listening to podcasts, especially ones that focus on self-improvement or um, manifestation, law of attraction, that kind of thing. I find it really interesting, especially when I can listen whilst focusing on something else. I feel it really uh, helps me kind of draw my attention to it and it goes into my subconscious without me even realizing. So the first one that I've been loving is Iconic by Stella Ray. I love Stella Ray as she just is so relatable. She just speaks about things like law of attraction, visualiza visualization, manifestation, spirituality, etc. in such a um, in such a way that it's not forced, you don't feel like you're constantly having to listen to self-improvement, um, which can get a bit kind of exhausting sometimes. She mixes it in with like funny stories, talking about boys, like all of this stuff, and it's just so funny, and I really like the way that she approaches it, so definitely would recommend that if you haven't listened to it already, and her YouTube videos as well, obviously. Also, the second podcast that I've been loving is Lewis Howe's School of Greatness. It's That's more of a kind of um, focused around self-improvement and speaking to all these amazing guest speakers on so many different topics. 
and I definitely recommend that one out. The episodes are about an hour long-ish and they all feature uh, guest speakers which I think is amazing because it's so nice to listen to these people talk about things that they're interested in, that they're specialised in and in such a short kind of set like snippet that you can listen to on a drive. Um, the more and the more you listen to them obviously the more it's going to be ingrained in your brain but yeah that's another one that I def definitely recommend you check out. So another thing that I wanted to talk about is meditation. Um, I am definitely trying to get into the routine of meditating almost every day as much as I can and one guided meditation that's definitely helped me with that is the abundance meditation by Bob Proctor. I was recommended this by one of my good friends and it honestly is amazing. <laughs> you definitely need to listen to it. It's only about 20 minutes long so it's not too hard if you've never really done guided meditation before. Um, Bob Proctor has such an amazing voice that it's so easy to listen to and it definitely, if you listen to it often, it definitely helps change your perspective, change your mindset. Um, and yeah, definitely recommend that. I'll have all of these things linked below but if you are looking on your journey to kind of transformation or just bettering yourself definitely recommend these three things and one last thing if you follow me on social media you probably know that I am deeply invested <laughs> in finding more about astrology and I love horoscopes and I love astrology and everything to do with that and some people tell me that it's like it's fake or whatever but I don't care because it really interests me and I definitely recommend if you're too interested getting the app called CoStar as it is just so much information in one place it's really easy to learn more about your different signs, your different placements of the different planets in your houses etc and it also allows you to add your friends so you can like compare with your friends, you can see your compatibility so like how compatible are you in certain aspects of your um, birth chart and in like astrology and also it gives you daily updates which are not like the daily horoscope apps you can get which are kind of vague and you, no one really trusts that they're kind of true like they can be adapted to anyone but it gives you updates in all different sections of your life and tells you whether you're going to have like some frustrations in that today or if it's going to run smoothly um, and how you can help yourself not be too consumed by things and yeah it's that really good one so I definitely recommend you download that if you are interested in astrology at all um, but yeah that's all I think I have to say today just wanted to give you guys a little update on what's going on with me and the projects that I'm working on and yeah it's very exciting times I'm so excited to get back to uni and start doing my dissertation and kind of learning more again because as I went on study abroad I feel like I haven't been to uni here in Bath for like a year which is crazy so that'll be really fun I'm really excited to make more content for my YouTube and get everything up and running there and my new website that's now launched and my ebook that is in the work so a lot of exciting stuff going on thanks for you guys for being so patient because I know I am not very good at uploading consistency on here but that is going to change I am sure and yeah if you have any questions or anything that you want uh, to recommend me to do for a video or anything like that I'll leave all my social media linked in the description so please go over and chat to me there and I will see you guys next time.